Have you ever wondered how to lose 100 pounds? How about doing it three times over? In today's video, we will look at the beautiful, talented, brilliant Jessica Simpson and her recent body transformation. We will be looking at what steps she has taken to take control of her health and what strategies you can apply to your own life to help you reach your goals. Hi everyone, Chelsea here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's celebrity video, we will be looking at Jessica Simpson's body transformation. It is important to note that we are not here to place judgment or criticism on the individual. Rather, our goal is to look at what steps people like Jessica have taken to modify their lifestyle and achieve their goals. We're also not here saying skinnier is better. Jessica's body has fluctuated a lot and she has been beautiful in every season and every version of her body. Jessica has shared that she didn't feel healthy or at home home in her body when she was heavier. And I think a lot of us can relate to that. Again, it's not about promoting unrealistic beauty standards. Rather, it's about providing you with inspiring examples and sharing with you tools that you can use to achieve your own personal goals, whatever those may be. We're also not here to obsess over Jessica's look and weight. Poor Jessica has shared that she has felt hurt in the past by having her body continually critiqued and criticized. She shared in an interview, I've been criticized and it hurts. I've been every weight and I've been proud of it. I decided, okay, everybody is going to talk about my weight all the time. I might as well make money off of it and turn it into a business of selling clothes and acceptance. Well done, Jess. Like most of us, Simpson's journey to body acceptance has been filled with highs and lows. She shares in her book that she was taking diet pills for over 20 years and was told to lose weight when she was just 15 years old. She has been body shamed for having boobs, especially when she was younger, and was even brutally body shamed after a performance in 2009 where she supposedly wore mom jeans. To gain insight for this video, I spent a lot of time reading articles, analyzing her Instagram, and reading Jessica's book, Open Book. If you haven't read her book, I highly recommend it. It is beautifully written and provides fabulous insight into Jessica's journey and personal struggles. She also narrates the audiobook, so that is a really fun way to devour the story. Let's dive into the steps that Jessica has taken to take control of her health and feel confident in her own skin. Specifically, we will be looking at her exercise, nutrition, and self-love routines. Jessica shares that after her third pregnancy, she tipped the scales at 240 pounds, which motivated her to seek help from personal trainer Harley Pasternak. Harley has worked with many Hollywood stars, including Khloe Kardashian, and Ariel Laurie from the Blonde Files podcast trains with him and raves about his approach. If you want to learn more about his method, check out his book, The Body Reset Diet, where he shares that the easiest form of exercise, walking along with light resistance training, is all it takes to achieve the celebrity-worthy physique that every reader craves. To summarize, a lot of his philosophy is about sustainable changes, which I love. He shares that he wrote the book because I wanted people to see that they don't need to starve themselves or work out for hours per day to have the energy, resilience, and physique of their dreams. A person needs only common sense and a simple plan that relies on real foods and basic movements to reset one's palate, habits, and body. He recognizes that even if people work out for 45 minutes a day, three times a week or four times a week, there's still 165 of the 168 hours that they're not working out. He said that the key to Jessica's transformation was making sure she got in 12,000 steps a day, at least seven hours of sleep on a nightly basis, and some circuit workouts to keep her stamina up. His circuits appear to use dynamic resistance training moves, such as skater lunges with a floor tap, squats with arm swings, reverse lunges with bicep curls, jump squats, and bicycle crunches. His circuits consist of about five to six moves per circuit, and each circuit seems to be about four and a half minutes long. He has created some DVD circuit workouts, which I've linked below if you wanna check them out. Circuits are great because they often involve both cardio and resistance training, and they're short. 
That means you're getting a full body workout in a short period of time, which again, makes it even more sustainable. Harley is also a super promoter of walking. Jessica shared on her Instagram how she woke up before her three kids to get her steps in by going for a walk. I love how she talks about how walking is a great form of movement and that movement is important for mental health. I always tell clients to move for their muscles and mental health. Don't exercise to punish yourself or burn calories. Nutrition is where you turn for actual weight loss. Movement is the catalyst that can help you get there. Harley Pasternak explains that Jessica's meals consisted of protein, fiber, and healthy fat, while snacks consisted of protein and fat, or protein and fiber. Similar to his meal plan, I always tell clients to add the core four approach to their meals, which consists of a protein, fat, fiber, and veggies. Eating this way helps to stimulate the proper hormones, such as glucagon-like peptide one, and prevent glucose spikes, which adds to you feeling more full, having more energy, and ultimately eating less. Pasternak states that we do not diet in a tasteless, extreme, radical way. Jessica loves Tex-Mex flavors, so she had a lot of healthy versions. There is no magic diet that is the end all and be all. If you take enough steps per day, you don't need to starve yourself food-wise. And if you eat properly, you don't need to run a marathon. I agree with many aspects of his nutritional approach. For example, one of the main reasons why diets don't work is because they're restrictive. It can't be about restriction. It has to be about balance. Otherwise, it's not sustainable, which means you may lose the weight, but you will gain it back every time. Jessica shares in her book that she spent years on diet pills while also following restrictive diets like Atkins. She shares that this lifestyle made her irritable because she was always hungry, craved chips, and felt jealousy towards people who could just eat normal food. The sad thing is, is that restriction messes with our brain. It actually makes us crave more and eat in ways that can cause us to gain weight versus eating balanced meals, mindfully indulging in our favorite foods, and guess what? Still being able to maintain our weight. I talk all about this in my intuitive eating ebook if you wanna learn more. If you've been following Jessica recently, you've probably noticed that she is looking incredibly fit and trim. She recently opened up about her weight loss secret. I went to a nutritionist and I needed to get my eating habits right, she said. Working with a nutritionist or dietitian can be so helpful because it is a personalized approach to your health plan. Also, I love how Jessica said she went to a nutritionist not to lose weight, but to seek help in getting her eating habits right. It's all about habits, not recipes, not cutting out food groups, not counting your macros or calories, habits. And again, they have to be sustainable for the long haul. Some examples of powerful strategies and habits that have helped my clients have been core four meal eating, breaking their fast with protein and fat, increasing their fasting window to 12 to 16 hours, and practicing intuitive eating principles. There are so many more strategies and principles that can help people, but these are some core ones that I find most people can pretty easily incorporate into their lifestyle. Last but not least, self-love. Jessica talks a lot in her book how she was giving so much of herself to others that she didn't have anything left for herself. This in turn influenced her to turn to alcohol. I believe that people can have a healthy relationship with alcohol. However, alcohol can also easily derail a person's health and wellness goals. Let's break down what happens to our bodies when we drink a glass of our favorite alcoholic beverage. We absorb 20% of alcohol through our stomach and it goes immediately to our bloodstream. Hence why you might feel a buzz pretty quick. Even just a small amount of alcohol gets our stomach juices flowing, which can cause hunger to kick in. Alcohol can sometimes trigger a false sense of hunger, which may lead to overeating when you drink. 
Once alcohol is in our bloodstream, our blood vessels dilate, which gives us that warm, loose feeling and also drops the body's blood pressure. When the blood pressure drops, it affects our whole body, especially our brain. Alcohol dulls the part of the brain that controls how our body works and can even continue to affect our brain for days after we drink. Alcohol is also a diuretic, which means it increases urine production and can cause dehydration, thirst, and even bloating. The liver takes the full hit of alcohol consumption. And when we drink alcohol and eat, the liver becomes overworked. The poor liver, which is trying to help you digest fat by producing bile, allows more fat to pass into the small intestine because it is so overworked. Then the small intestine kind of panics and start storing the fat because there's so much coming at it. Though alcohol can be part of a healthy lifestyle, it may also contribute to you overeating, storing more fat, and unintentionally increasing your consumption of sugar and calories. Jessica shares that when she started investing in the self-care practice of not putting everyone else before herself and living from burnout, she was able to begin to give up alcohol. She shares, I have gained and lost 100 pounds three times, so I never thought this moment could or would happen. But I'm finally spring breaking, wearing a bikini. Hard work, determination, self-love. I enjoyed a good proud cry today. I know it may seem counterintuitive, but it's almost impossible to reach our health and wellness goals from a place of punishment and hatred. We don't hate ourselves into getting a better body. We love ourselves each step of the way. It is entirely possible to love yourself and to still have goals, aspirations, and desires for your body. When we love our body, we nourish it. We practice mindful movement. We relieve ourselves from stress. We choose sleep and rest and hydration. And we begin to say goodbye to things that make us feel sick, such as sugar, alcohol, processed foods and other junk in our life. Jessica's beautiful transformation stemmed from hard work, determination, and self-love. These things are not easy, but they are free. And if you so choose, I believe you have the power within you to do the same. After listening to Jessica's voice in her audiobook, she feels almost like a friend to me. She is someone whose story I admire and whose health journey should inspire us. She shared this September, 2022. I absolutely feel healthy. I don't know. I feel like my old self before I had children and all the hormones going wild. I feel younger, actually. I have a lot more energy and yeah, I get to wear all the clothes that are in storage that I saved for Maxwell and Birdie. Maybe Birdie will outgrow them because Maxwell has already outgrown me. Jessica has shared that she has chosen to love and accept her body at every size and hopes that her clothing collection reflects her acceptance of all body types. It's hard to not see your flaws first, but I think that as a society, things are changing. And that's great because everybody's being celebrated. I understand the mentality of all women and I understand loving where you're at or wanting more or wanting something better. So remember, wherever you are on your health journey, it is so important to love yourself. If you have goals, commit to hard work, but do it from a place of self-love and care. Diets, restriction, and punishment don't work long term. Sustainable lifestyle changes are what lead to ultimate transformation, not just of your body, but of your mind and health. Give yourself grace on this journey and always extend grace to others.